Hey guys, what's going on? Matt Kelly here. Now, just a, a short video today. We actually had a situation where when I was grinding back the old floor from the subfloor from this boat, I found a very, very bad repair that I'd done previously where there's actually a crack through the side of the boat. So, um, I thought I could potentially leave it, but rather than do that, ground it out with the grinder, with a flap disc, uh, just effectively the sanding blade. And then what I've done is, um, gone through and I'm about to do a fiberglass repair. So let's get into it. This is how to repair a small hole crack similar in the boat. Um, this is not structural necessarily, but it's definitely gonna hold water out because it is below the water line. So um, epoxy resin, uh, chop strand, let's get into it. So in this situation, I'm just using some pretty basic uh, fiberglass uh, I actually got this from a repair kit of sorts. It's an epoxy resin and then just some pretty light uh, chop strand. Um, make sure you get your ratios right and consider the temperature in which you are glassing. So, um, so often you'll have different hardener ratios depending on the temperature and the humidity in the environment that you're in. In this case it's at night and relatively low humidity so I'm not too stressed but something to keep in mind. Make sure you mix it really really well. Obviously it's important when you're mixing a hardener into anything uh, that you need to get a very very good solid mix so get take the time and do it properly in this case i've pre-cut a piece of chop strand to fit and we're going to head on over to the boat and let's get started so to start out i'm just going to give the the hull itself a bit of a, a dabbing of the of the resin so i've ground back that entire section about five centimeters to either side of the actual crack itself um, right back to to the original glass so got rid of all the uh the gel coat the previous gel coat and then I'm gonna give it a nice coating of resin just to give it the chop strand something to stick to. And then I'm gonna drop the piece of chop strand directly on it, pat it down. Uh, don't use brush strokes because you'll literally just pull the stuff apart. Uh, just pat it down relatively uh, gently just to get all of the, the resin soaking right through the cloth. Now in this situation, and by no means am I an expert, but I knew that I wanted to build up the hole because I can start to see the original piece of chop strand actually falling through the hole or pushing through. So I knew I wanted to build it up so it was a, quite a nice thick layer. So in this case, I'm just gonna keep laying piece after piece after piece for basically as long as I've got the um, the epoxy that hasn't set. Um, I know that I'm you've got a bit of a ticking time bomb here when you're working with epoxy. so. I'm really only gonna get sort of 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes of work time out of it. So it's a, it's a case of just get as much down as I can while I've got this resin ready to go. And in this case, I'm actually patting down uh, any air bubbles that I can see. I know that you can use a roller and try and roll it out, and that's definitely what I'll do with bigger jobs like the transom of the boat. But in most cases, and this is the issue with a hole, right? If I used a roller, I would just push it all through the hole, and I don't wanna do that because I'm gonna end up doing a, um, a bit of a filler treatment when I eventually flip the hull over to um, to when I eventually flip the hull over to paint the underside of the hull. So at this point, all I'm doing is going to get structurally sound and obviously going to get it watertight, knowing that the other side is going to get an epoxy fill down the track. And there you have it, a simple job, not too crazy, um, and by no means am I an expert, I know many of you guys who do this all the time, especially those who do it for a living, are gonna look at this and say, not how I would have done it, not the tools I would have used, or not the resin I would have used, I don't know, this is the internet, I always get comments like that, it's just the nature of uh, putting this sort of content out there, but this is what I've done, I'm hoping that this is gonna last, and it's gonna stay like it is, I think it'll be all right, um, but for now, that's this little video done. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to give us a like, Give, leave a comment and definitely hit the subscribe button, little notification bell. Really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm really excited about this boat. This is just a short, simple video. Um, there's heaps, heaps more to come. Um, as you probably saw from, from this one, there's already so much work that's gone down on this boat just to get it to this point. There's a lot more to come. So I hope you enjoy it. Don't, don't forget to, yeah, give us a sub and stay tuned for this restoration journey. It's gone really, really well. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you soon.